Hey Peter, it's Josh. Uh, I just wanted to do this video just to kind of give you a couple rundowns on just some of the basic stuff. Um, seeing that you're new to boating and I thought any advice would be uh, helpful and tips and tricks and all that kind of stuff. So um, we'll just kind of show you up here. Um, again, everything's a little bit dirty, but um, this is a kind of like a Coast Guard kit. So it's got an SOS flag. This is a bunch of dock line um, flares. Your anchor is in here, it's fold, it kind of folds. Um, and also the fire extinguisher. That's on that side. On this side, um, if you remember when you came up to look at the boat, it was covered with kind of a, a lightweight gray tarp. That's what this is. Um, I just put it in there. Um, you can kind of, I kind of throw it on in the winter months. Um, it's just, just extra. Um, glove box here uh radio here um that's i mean yeah it's pretty basic uh and then your main controls are over here i do not have the battery hooked up um i didn't want to do that due to the fact uh I'll wait for the cars to stop going by this north country weather uh you never know when the weather's going to kind of change so i just wanted to to uh kind of come through and take a take some uh, video clips to show you some information but anywho it's gonna be real basic um one of the big things you're gonna want to do is when you first get in the boat um it's suggested that you turn the blower on you know, that's all you're gonna do is rock that switch turn it on for about uh, three four minutes before you start the engine it actually tells you right here um otherwise than that once you hook up the battery and all that stuff you're just gonna be put it in the key and go um it is still winterized so uh so yeah captain's chair there captain's chair there back here <clears throat> so i did have three life jackets uh kicking around so i threw those in there for you i know you said you had some younger ones that would be gone but some of these are uh you know decent size so and also the uh the boat hook for when you get on the dock um i do believe this extends yep so you can kind of do that So this is the bimini i'm just gonna move this out of the way lj if you want to show them how kind of how it's just kind of pivoting right there so normally all you would do to, to hook this up you would just unhook this put it into there pretty straightforward and then you would uh unzip it up in here unzip it up in here and then there's uh there's straps in there and the straps are going to hook to those uh metal hooks right there so let's just move this this way i know this is going to be an awkward video so <clears throat> okay so main little button right there that pops this up um and like i had said so this hopefully we can see that pretty good um with the light that seemed okay so the battery's in there i just fully charged it um but it is fully unhooked so all these uh the different cables you'll see some few different red ones down here and then you'll hook up all your black ones you hook those up um and once you do that it is unwinterized um in regards to hooking up the power and all that pretty much you just put it in the water and you're good to go um over here i did leave in these uh fenders so there's four of them you can tie those off various spots depending on what you're doing out in the lake okay so that's that so there's one other thing i wanted to show back here i'll get this one a bit tricky i don't have to actually look down Here. Okay, so this just kind of collapses right back up. This is your fuel fill for gas. I mean, I know I may be going over some things, kind of keeping it too simple, but um, oh, and I, I didn't show it and I wanted to, but underneath this, when you lift it up right against the very top, there's a light pole that goes in here, and that's in case you're driving at night. Okay. So also, I'll leave this strap on here for you. It's just an extra tie down strap for when you're actually traveling with it. Once the battery's hooked up, this will also run your drive up and down. So you can kind of be standing at the back of the boat and you can lower and raise the lower unit. Um, the one other thing that, and I know you said you're new to boating, but it's kind of a super, super common thing that some people do. And I have it, I don't have it with me in my hand right now, but I have it on my, on my back room table. Um, is right down here that's going to be where the boat plug goes 
So I, I leave it out until we are fully ready to go in the water. Um, because right now, if a little bit of rain gets in, it will actually just kind of, gravity will uh, drain the water right out of the bottom of the boat. So it kind of keeps things dry. Um, I'm trying to think if there's really anything else. I can show them up here. Coming, sorry. We're not, we're not real good at uh, making YouTube videos, but we're gonna put this on YouTube for you so you have access to it. So um, this right here is just gonna be your lever. So this will release it. So you can see right there, this leaves, leaves the slack. So you'd be able to push the boat back off. You just unhook your, your uh, safety chain there. And then just to, uh, to get it to go back, simply flip that lever back up. I'm just gonna put a little, little snug on it for you and you'll be good to, to travel down the road. Also, this requires a two inch ball um, for when you come and grab it. We'll try to get this video uploaded. Um, that way you have uh, some of this info. And uh, I think that's pretty much it. The, the tops that go on that cover everything, pretty self-explanatory. Um, it will, you'll just snap this one on. And then there are these poles that will sit right on the middle of the floor. And you'll notice in the top of the canvas, there's a little button and you'll button that. And that holds that part up. Um, right in this area here, there is a zipper. Um, I'll have that all on there and zipped up for you when you come, but uh, that just kind of helps hold it together so those two seams can't come apart. Um, otherwise than that, I think that's it. Enjoy your new boat, I appreciate it.